How's everybody doing today? My name is Matt, W2ORT, and I'm here to talk to you guys about ADSB decoding and basically being able to track planes and uh, decode the 1090 frequency that they uh, kind of send their data out on so you guys can graphically plot it on a map and check it out. So if you guys have never used a SDR uh, before, you guys can get them off of Amazon. Uh, they're about 40 bucks or less, and uh, the very first thing you're going to need to do is use this uh, Zodig tool to um, go and uh, put the drivers on your SDR so your computer can see it. When your tool opens up, the first thing you're going to do is go to Options, List All Devices, and go look for the bulk in comma interface interface zero and interface one. These are both your SDR um, and uh, one is going to be your like HF uh, interface and one is going to be your VHF and up interface. So once you click on your uh, both uh, like your two uh, interfaces, you're just going to install the driver. Uh, it'll say none right here uh, originally and you're just going to install that driver and uh, be good to go and then you can close that tool. The next thing you're going to do is uh, get this uh, dump 1090 uh, zip folder and you can export it anywhere on your computer and uh, just put it somewhere and um, take this dump 1090 batch file and run it. Now I want you guys to see this error because this happens a lot with Windows 10 everything like that. So it's going to say USB open error dash 12 and if you guys see that um, and you can't run the dump 1090 bat what you're going to do is edit and at the end here you're just going to put uh, dash dash device dash index one and save close that open it up and then you'll be able to uh, get everything here uh, and this is actually the software decoding planes right now which um, for where I'm at right now this is a lot more than a uh, I imagined it was going to be. So um, we'll leave this running in the background for right now. And I'm going to close this folder. The next thing we're going to set up is the virtual radar uh, server. So this is uh, something we're going to run on the local host that will allow us to graphically plot everything. So uh, we'll just install it all. Uh, you can choose to uh, put it on a port. Uh, because what you're going to do uh, is basically host a web server uh, that everyone can post, uh, or, uh, everyone can visit in your local host. So uh, you can configure this to allow your Windows firewall to allow other computers to connect to your computer and see this um, uh, web page. So we'll hit finish, and then in your little search bar, you'll put uh, virtual radar and this will bring up your server and the first thing you're going to do is tools options and receiver so now we're going to connect uh, this uh, dump 1090 uh, program to your uh, virtual radar server and allow you to plot it all graphically so we're going to hit the wizard and you're going to uh, select a software defined radio and you're connecting it via dump 1090 and uh, it is currently running on the computer and you're finished that is all you have to do and then if you'd like you can test your connection it'll say that a connection could be made uh, if everything is done right so far and then the very last thing you have to do is just go to this web page so now it will start uh, start plotting everything uh, and you'll be able to see all your planes click on them you can go to the menu and uh, basically configure this however you want so you can have uh, these uh, these little rings uh, every certain number of miles out or nautical miles and uh, show you how far out the planes are that you are seeing and uh, obviously I can't see that many because my antenna is um, inside my house and not exactly the best setup but also not many planes fly in this area so I'm not surprised that I'm not seeing too many so uh, you guys can also make uh, properly tuned antennas uh, there's a bunch on uh, 
Google that you can look up and learn more about. If you guys have any more questions or want to uh, have links to all this, please check out my webpage, w2rt.com, and go down to the wiki, and it will have more information about this. And you guys can also go to uh, Military Amateur Radio, which is my friends. Um, so they uh, should definitely get a follow and all that stuff. Please check it out.